Hey everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be doing a huge art haul. Everything in this video is from Timu. Everything costs basically the same price as a box of the 150 Prismacolors. So I kind of want to show you what you can get for the same price as a more expensive product. So let's get started. Now I've got a few items in this section here. They're all kind of related and they all have the same kind of theme but they're different. There's three different items and I want to show you all of them. So we're going to start with the two under here. The first thing is just a dip pen quill. It is blue. It has a bunch of nibs. It is really, really nice. It's got these beautiful details actually on the quill itself. In my previous video, I showed a journal that I'm going to be doing in 2024. I want to be able to do a lot of pen work and ink work. And this is something that I haven't really done before. So I picked up a few different tools. This is just beautiful and it's something a little bit more special. Then I also just got a regular dip pen that is also pretty it has you know nice details it's not as fancy obviously as the quill but it does have different heads like these ones are a lot finer so i think between the two of them i can create some really cool things and learn calligraphy definitely something i do need to learn i've never learned it before but it's something i'm interested in let's just open this so that is the pen it's kind of a i think it's wood and then it's got this little metallic part in the middle with a little bit of a design, like an Aztec kind of design. Nice little nib. There's all of the various tips that come with this pen. This one here has got is curved up. They're very, very narrow. This one's kind of got a little bit of a flat bit on the side. So it'll be just interesting to learn what they're all for. And I'll enjoy having fun with these. Let's open this one. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is actually really heavy for what its size is. It is so beautiful. Look at that. It feels, because it's heavy, it's very interesting. It just has a different feel to any pen that I've used before. This tip is very fine, which matches more the other dip pens, but every one that comes with it in this packet looks a lot thicker. And obviously that will all have a different purpose and create different flows of ink and different shapes. Okay, this is what I have here. I have two little bottles of black ink, 10 mil each. And then I have these four, I have these four different markers. These are all different. I can't read the writing on them. We have just a basic tip, a thicker one, a brush tip. This one looks finer than the first one I showed, but it's very, very similar in size. I'm thinking that with these things together, I'm gonna to be able to learn a lot of calligraphy, do a lot of cool stuff. And you don't need to have pretty stuff to do this kind of stuff. You can obviously just use a normal pen, but if you find this a little bit more fun to use, then if it inspires you, then that's only a good thing. The next item we have is just some washi tapes. It has three different sizes. It's got some small, mediums, and the really, really wide. I didn't have any of this really wide washi tape, which is why I wanted this. I do have mostly the medium size, which is just standard size. And I do have some rolls of the more narrow washi tape. The ones I have are probably narrower than what's here. And these are just gorgeous. Look at those beautiful details, like the butterflies. I really like this packet. Like I looked at a few and this one was my favorite by, by far, but okay. Or something a little bit different. This looks like nothing, but it is actually going to be a paintbrush holder. I saw these on Etsy and they were a lot more expensive to get a wooden one. This one is just one you obviously build and put together and it probably isn't as nice, but it's gonna be very practical. And it's something I can just put on my desk and just have my paintbrushes ready to go. I, I do have a one of the black square plastic ones that I use for mostly my oil paints, but I want something that I can have on my desk here for my acrylic paints and my gouache, and this would be really nice for that. Okay, putting that together was not fun. All the pieces kind of do, they eventually click together, but they were so hard to line up. And yeah, I'm glad I don't have to do that one again, but it is built now and I think it's pretty, like that's obviously you can't put a lot of weight but the sides feel very very sturdy so we'll see how it goes now there are a few things in here that i actually have added to this that were christmas presents this is one of them it is a water cup it is actually amazing because i tried this out i put some water in it and it does not it does not leak despite the fact that this comes off it actually has 
texture in here so that way you can clean your brushes. It also has space so you can have your brushes hanging up and brushes here so you can kind of lean them against those. And if you want to use this as a small palette, you can also because it's got these little paint pans at the bottom. It is very, very versatile and it is a very nice color. I love pink and I'm very happy to have this. Lately, I've been using a candle jar for my water for my acrylic paints. So I'm glad to have something that's got some texture in the bottom. I like, people don't like oil paints, but I much prefer oil paints because you can kind of wipe the brush with a cloth and it's pretty much clean. But acrylic paint, it just stays on the brush and it just keeps multiplying with the more water you add. So I'm really happy to have the texture at the bottom because that is definitely going to help clean those brushes off. And I want to get into more acrylic painting in 2024. Okay, this is another Christmas gift from Timu. Now this has been something that has been on my list for about two years. You can buy more expensive versions of this for probably about 10 times the price. As somebody that's never tried the item that is in here, I didn't want to have it, something that was so expensive. You kind of want to try it, see how you like it. And if you really enjoy it, you can always upgrade later. And I'm also going to say that while this is from Timu, the same versions of these are about five times the price on Amazon. Amazon will sell a lot of the same products that Timu sells, but they will actually upsell them. So people have their own stores, they get all the cheap things from overseas and then they sell them for five times the price, sometimes more. So anyway, let's open this one and I'll show you what is inside. This is a USB charged airbrush. These can be used for a lot of different purposes. The ones that I've seen the pictures of, people will use them for nail art, cakes, makeup, as well as acrylic art. So I don't have any expectations that this will be able to do a giant picture. It is a smaller device. I think if you move your actual airbrush away, you'll create a little bit more flow. And again, like I said, it's just a learning tool for me and I am really, really excited to do it. And I think I'm gonna be able to do some very, very cool things with this one. And it's gonna be just a lot of fun. Okay, I'm gonna show you a few different items here. These are all watercolors or water watercolor related. For starters, I have two different paint sets. One is the candy, let me pull that out. So it's just pastel colors. I've been wanting, I've been a little bit obsessed in pastel colors for the last few weeks and really wanted a nice set. This is obviously a cheap set, but as some of you may know, I'm not an experienced watercolor artist. It is not my preferred medium. So this is a fine little set for me to just play with and try things. I love my pastel pencils. And I think these will work really nice with the macaron pencils as well as maybe as an undercoat. I don't know. I'll just see. I'll find ways to make these work and they're just pretty. And now this, these macarons are only six colors. Some of them look very similar. The green does look different. The blue looks the same. This purple isn't the same as that. The pink may, pink is probably in between. That's probably similar. So they're very similar colors, but I don't think they're the same. They're a little bit bigger pans. And again, this is just about having some fun. I'm not under any illusion that these are gonna be the best paints in the world. They're just going to be practice paints. If I like them and enjoy them, I can buy better paints, but for what I use watercolor for, these are gonna be perfect. Pretty. They totally are the same colors mostly. That's okay. Okay, it's obvious what this is for. And these relate, these are just pans for watercolor. This was just a little watercolor palette. Obviously these little pans can go inside here. I bought two different sizes of pans that can actually go into here so I can add my own watercolor. Mostly I wanted this for these and this will fit more than these two packets in there. I think anyone that's used watercolor will know these pans quite well. You can obviously use the metal as your palette. You put your colors in here. You can put a few more colors in here. These retail a lot more on other websites and what they do on Timu. This was quite cheap, maybe around 10 Australian dollars, which is probably around six US. These are another Christmas present I got from my hubby. Now I've actually got a set of these brushes I bought about two years ago. I've used them a lot for my acrylic painting. If you watch my Grinch video or my skateboard video, you may have seen me use these. I've used them in a few different videos. You can still buy these on Amazon under a different white label brand, but the Amazon one, when I went back to my original order, was about four times the price of these. I did find some other ones on Amazon that were about twice the price of these because different brands will sell them at different price points. But I love these brushes. They're just a nice brush. I've really, really enjoyed them. I do have one of my original brushes. The actual handle has come off, but I haven't had any problems with the actual quality of the brushes, with the bristles or anything. They've just been really, really nice brushes. And these are my go-to cheap brushes. And I'm just happy to have a new set. These are both Christmas presents as well from my hubby. And 
I'm just putting them together. They're not kind of related, but they're related in a sense. They're both for abstract kind of art. This is a pouring cup. You can use this for fluid painting. You can use it for resin. I've actually wanted one of these for a couple of years. I have looked at them before. I've looked at the three and the five. I would love it for resin, but I think the resin would be too hard to actually get in there and clean out, which is why I hadn't bought one yet. You put your three different colors in here, and then when you pour it, you'll get a combination of the three different ribbons. And when you do the cell, this is going to look really, really beautiful. Like I've seen this kind of stuff done in videos before, and it always looks really nice. I have done resin where I put things in a cup and I've done multiple layers of colors, and I love how it comes out. So I cannot wait to use this one. These are just palette knives that my hubby got me. Obviously, these are designed for painting, for abstract painting, which is why they kind of relate to this. So you can kind of use them to get awesome textures onto your artwork. I haven't really done a lot of palette knife painting before. I've used a little bit of palettes just to get smidges of things, but they were just your normal average palettes. These are the different textures from the different forks to the ones that have ridges on the side. It's going to be a learning experience for me to try to figure out which tool does what and what I prefer. So I think soon I'm definitely going to do some acrylic abstract painting. Maybe I'll pull out the airbrush for that as well. Use these, use my pouring cup, just try different things and just enjoy the experience of it and just learn. This is the next thing I've had. It is a drawing device. What you can do is you put this on your paper, you position it to whatever shape you want it and then you can use it as to trace that shape and to be able to get either smooth lines or a smooth circle or whatever it is you want to paint or draw because this is just it's just a guide to help you to get what you want to do this one is a 60 centimeter one it was only a few dollars i went for the larger one because why not there was i think they had 30 centimeters 40 50 60 and i figured the larger one is obviously better it doesn't really take much room to store Okay, this one is a little bit fun. I don't even know if this is gonna work. These are pigments and I saw them advertised for nail polish, to add to nail polish, but these actually glow in the dark. Pretty sure I could use these to create my own paints by just adding the actual medium to them and that'll be really, really nice. You can probably buy acrylic paints that have glow in the dark, but these were way cheaper and I don't mind mixing my own pigments. I do have pigments from my resin and my paint pouring days. And I kind of want to get into trying to make my own acrylic. I think I do have an acrylic binder here and I obviously have some oil binders. So this will just be a little bit of fun. And I have seen a painting, I think a couple of years ago by Nerdforge, I believe. And she did this beautiful city painting and she ended up using some neon colors in it. You weren't even aware of the neon colors, obviously until the end of reveal when they turned the lights off. And oh my God, that was so beautiful. So these, I'm hoping will just be just as awesome once I convert these to paints. Very pretty, very versatile. There's a lot of orangey pinks. You think about the, the three here, they're very different to most of the others. These are all very, very similar. The red's probably a bit different, but there's three oranges that are very similar. The pinks are very, very similar, but who knows what they look like in the dark. Next up are some wood canvases. I actually have some smaller ones as well. I have two of the larger size and three of the smaller size. I see people using these on YouTube a lot and you cannot buy these in Australia. I've only been able to buy them overseas and I really, really like them. I did do one painting with the Little Mermaid on one that was similar size to this many months ago. I love painting on wood and it, they're just, they just look nice and you can put them on a tiny little easel and display them and it's just really, really pretty. I wouldn't even mind trying some wood burning on one of these. I have never done wood burning before. So it could be a disaster and it could be a waste. But if you do a really bad job of wood burning on this, you turn it over and you paint on this side. Okay, there's two of these. These are just wooden pellets. There's nothing special about these, but I'm thinking like a lot of people do on YouTube, they actually use the pellet as a painting surface and create something cool with them. And I want to do something probably like that. I don't know yet what I want to paint. Maybe it's painting Bob Ross or something. Key. This is a banged up box, a very ugly color. These are just blenders that I got for uh, pastel. I only have oil pastels and I've only used them once and I bought them a few years ago, like in 2020 and I didn't know what I was doing. And I'd like to get into those again or try them again. So these are just blenders and some spare tips. There's a couple of different shapes in here. I noticed there's some round ones and there's some more triangle ones. They'll be interesting to try. I probably will need more of these pads because I'm no doubt these will be used up very, very quickly. Speaking of pastels, 
Now this is probably the only item I bought from Timu that was close to full price, full Amazon price. I probably got this about 20% less than what Amazon charged, but because Calore pencils are a discount brand anyway, they're still very, very cheap everywhere. You don't really get a big discount on Timu on Calore or Brute for you know, generally, because these are pastel color pencils, soft pastels, different to the oil pastels I mentioned before, they're a more premium type of pencil and I do not have any soft pastel pencils with the exception of a black and a white pencil that I got in a subscription box. I often see pictures on social media by people that have drawn these beautiful animal portraits and they've always used pastel pencils and just soft pastels, pan pastels and I'm always envious because they look so beautiful and I would love to be able to draw that. So I bought these to actually try soft pastels. I don't know how good these ones are. I, I'm guessing that some soft pastel pencils are softer than others. Some are probably chalkier. I'm not expecting these to be Caran d'Ache quality or Faber-Castell, but I have found that some of these budget brands are actually quite good for their buck. So I have decent expectations that these will be okay and they'll be a good learning tool. I'm going to open these up. We have a uh, swatching chart. We've also got the swatches on the top. One of the green pencils, which is not on this layer, is actually, there's a bit of green um, lead there. And on the tin itself, I can see some of the green. So there's obviously a little bit of a broken lead in there. They're a very nice looking pencil. Just the wood barrel, no, nothing special about that. Just the color, very clear orange peach 12. It's telling me this is less light fast. For their ratings, if it has a single plus, it is light fast. If it has four pluses, it is very not. And I'm not expecting any of these to be light fast, honestly, because they are discount pencils. I also don't need light fast pencils because I am not a professional artist. And if whatever I do with any of these, I'm just going to be having fun with them and just trying things and just learning. Looking at the tin itself, everything has got four stars with the exception of I can see purple lake is three stars which is light fast but it's obviously not very very good and I don't know if I can see any other that have less stars so yeah they're not light fast but that's okay and these are gonna be just fun to try so they'll work well with my blending tools as well and I do have pastel paper already so hopefully that works really nicely with these pencils and these are gonna be a lot of fun to try a couple more items here just a little palette that my hubby bought me just the plastic palette got lots of paint wells for various very colors probably perfect for watercolor maybe some acrylic painting these ones are quite deep the ones in the middle are less deep but i like that they do separate your paint quite well because i know that sometimes if you have too many paints together and if you're me you end up mixing paints accidentally and you end up with a messy palette. So this is actually a good palette to actually create that separation and just to have a variety of colors. And here is a separate palette, which is, I haven't seen yet, it's ceramic. So that's the second palette. It is obviously, like I said, it's ceramic palette. It is very, it is very heavy. Similar design, it's got the same little shape in the middle, lots of paint wells, very, very deep. Great for watercolor acrylic again, maybe some gouache. So that is that was like one of my luxury purchases from Timo. It's not too expensive. It's actually quite cheap, but it was a little bit more expensive than some of the other items. It was probably around maybe 10 US dollars for this one, which is probably quite cheap in comparison to what this would cost normally in a store or an Amazon. And it is just really, really nice quality. For my last item. Now, this is an, this one is an interesting one. These are brush pens. I had this in my cart and they told me they were about 68 Australian dollars, which is probably around 44, 45 US dollars. And I didn't buy them. They were just in my cart for a long time. We were trying to get through the Christmas period. We weren't buying anything for ourselves because you know, someone may have bought something for you so I just had it in my cart over Christmas and then on Christmas day I got an email that they had dropped the price of my cart so they dropped the price down to $18 Australian for these which would be about $12 US 
four 120 markers dual brush markers and they come in a case these markers are only 10 us cents a marker this is ridiculously cheap even the case alone is worth that so let's open these up so let's look at what 10 cent marker actually looks like even if even if half these markers don't work it doesn't even matter at that price point it is so cheap we have a brush in one end and a fine liner at the other end i'm kind of hoping that these work nicely in my stone journal because my stone paper journal does not work with alcohol markers or watercolor it does work okay with watercolor markers so these are obviously a more water-based friendly marker oh my gosh look at that fine line that is very 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 fine that is a 10 cent marker there's 120 of these like i wasn't even going to get the 120 set because i have my alcohol markers and i love my alcohol markers i was actually going to get a smaller set but once i discounted these it's just too good to be true honestly and the case is gorgeous and they're easy to get to it has such a high variation in colors it doesn't even matter if some of these don't work or if i use them up there's plenty of colors like if i use an orange those two oranges look roughly the same you cannot go wrong with these so 10 cents a marker these are just a huge timu win and whatever people say about timu and i know there's a lot of controversy on a lot of these websites these cheap websites but the reality is you can buy these exact same brand markers from amazon for probably three four five times the price because people are selling the same stuff they're coming from the same factories people are just making a huge profit so the thing about timu is you get the discount the only thing that changes is amazon is getting rich and you're spending more money so these are a complete win so that is everything from this large art haul as i said before everything in here including the christmas presents work out to about the same price as a box of prismacolor 150s and there is a lot more you can get so much for your money and considering these cost the same as the box of prismacolors i have 50 color pencils i have 120 markers that is already 170 coloring items coloring instruments plus i have pens i have dip pens i have watercolor i have watercolor tins i have washi tape i have surfaces i have a there is something to wash out my paintbrushes there is everything you can possibly need for that exact same price will the quality be as good as some of the things you can get elsewhere not always but what i've actually found for the most part with timu the stuff i do have and this is not everything i've ever bought from timu i have got some ridiculously high quality items for like three dollars four dollars ten dollars whatever the quality is actually generally very very good for what you get and what you pay the only difference is you're not paying the big box store you're getting the discount yourself so this stuff takes less time to get to me there's isn't free shipping than if i actually bought something from the other side of the country that i mean i can buy something from australia buy it from queensland buy it from western australia it will take longer than these things to arrive a lot of these items i think only took six days i think probably 10 days is pretty average for timu items but it is so quick it is so cheap and it is helping me in my art journey i'm not going to buy a lot more art supplies in 2024 because let's face it i have all of this to actually use and enjoy and i also already have stuff that i've got here anyway this was kind of me splashing out at the start of the year so i can kind of have everything that i could possibly want to try in the year then i can actually just use these i won't really i don't have a need for anything else i never have a need for anything i didn't have a need for this stuff either really but this is my hobby this is kind of my mental health this is the stuff that i really like doing i love trying new things if things don't work for me i might give them to somebody else i'm open to trying things none of this has really hurt the bank but for now i have everything i have like this is not every, everything i've even got obviously i've got paints and oil paints and acrylic paints and i have some really really nice acrylic paints and my paint markers and they're going to be great for the wood surfaces over there and i'm going to have an awesome 2024 because i have all this stuff and i can just create and my brain can be happy and i can just be at peace and just have a really good strong year because 
this is my release from the world this is the thing that just makes me happy and calm and that is that is what art therapy is you know that is it for this video don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel for more content like this if you want to see any of these items in a video whether it's a review or me using the actual item just let me know in the comments give me any other feedback you want what is your favorite item here what would you like to try yourself i'll see you next time bye